Good evening, everyone. Well, of course, we have the fire concerns, and one of those reasons we have the fire concerns is because of the drought monitor coming out today, and it shows the areas of far southeastern Oklahoma where we are in severe drought, and that is parts of Haskell County, LaFleur County, and Sequoia County, and then a large portion from Tulsa to Oklahoma City is in a severe drought at this time. So we're still running below average, believe it or not, since December, even though we're ahead in the rain gauge for the year. But I see two rain chances coming up. However, some windy days before those rain chances arrive, that will help to dry the soil out even more. So really a week from now, I don't expect any change in the drought monitor. Temperatures tonight will be dropping 62 here by 6 p.m. So a nice mild evening, but we'll see our lows drop to 50 by 11 p.m eventually down to 46 by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Overnight lows all the way down to 37 in Bartlesville, 42 in Grove, 41 at Sky took under clear skies and light southerly winds. Salisaw 42, look at Tahlequah, down to 37 tonight. Okima drops to 42, we'll have a south wind at 10 miles an hour. And in our southern counties, we'll see overnight lows potentially in the mid 40s with south winds around 10 miles an hour. Bus stop forecast for tomorrow, I think we need layers once again. It'll be a little chilly in the morning. 42, a cool breeze with sunshine, warming up close to 70 degrees tomorrow. Radar satellite picture here. Clear skies right now, but notice this swirl. We've got a low pressure area over Texas that will send some cloud cover in our direction. It'll arrive tomorrow afternoon, but a dry day, so pretty decent weather again with highs in the 70s. Saturday morning, a little bit of drizzle, maybe a sprinkle, especially over the east and far southeastern part of the viewing area. And then Sunday, looks like we'll have mostly cloudy skies once again with some rain showers developing around Oklahoma City Sunday evening. They'll head in our direction by Sunday night. Tomorrow's high temperatures, low 70s, morning lows mid 40s, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, thanks to cloud cover, mid 60s, and then a, another cool to mild start Sunday before temperatures warm into the 60s Sunday afternoon. We're headed for 75 Sunday afternoon. 69 today, morning low is 34, averages are 53 and 32. On the pollen counts, we're seeing moderate uh, tree pollen reports coming in. Claremore right now, where that grass fire is going on, 63. It's actually west of Talala, but this is the closest weather bug station that we have. Lighter winds right now, but the relative humidity at 31%, so we'll continue to watch that. In Tulsa, 68, relative humidity, 25%. We have south-southwest winds at 20 miles an hour. Here's the uh, forecast for overnight tonight. Clear and mild at 10 p.m., 5 a.m., 44. The average low is 32. Sunny, warm tomorrow at noon, 64. And then high temperatures tomorrow pushing 70 degrees. The record high is 79 in 2011. Clouds will arrive tomorrow evening. High temperature in Pryor, 67. Pawnee up to 70. High temperature in Tulsa, 71. 68 in Okmogee, 67 in Shakota. And we'll see a high temperature in our southern counties due to more cloud cover held down into the upper 60s. Here's the seven day forecast. Saturday, 67 after a morning low of 48. 75 on Sunday, a breezy day. So some more grass fire concerns over the weekend. Monday, however, a rain chance arrives and then it dries back out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But more rain chances are coming back in. I think next Friday or even a week from Saturday. 